We've got Canadian tennis player Bianca Andrescu under some spotlight these days, and from the looks of it, it's not for any good reason. She's been at the receiving end of severe backlash from both fans and critics for her win against Daria Kasatkina at the Canadian Open on the 10th of August. We'll help you catch up with all that's been going on in today's video. First up, we've got Andrescu facing accusations of gamesmanship. From the sound of it, gamesmanship seems to be a pretty positive word, like sportsmanship, but turns out it's not an uplifting word. Whenever a player uses seemingly unfair means to gain an advantage over their opponent, but without breaking any rules, that's gamesmanship for you. It's not illegal, but it's not exactly the most ethical thing either. And Bianca Andrescu garnered some serious public attention recently. The reason? Critics have been accusing her of gamesmanship in her recent win against Daria Kasatkina at the Canadian Open. You must be wondering how exactly the Canadian player employed unfair tactics to win in the court against Kasatkina. And well, Andrescu took an incredibly long time out during the game for some medical reasons. Critics believe that the 22-year-old purposely took the medical time out during crucial moments of the game in order to disturb her Russian opponent's momentum to gain an advantage over her. All those who are accusing Bianca as dead set on insisting that taking such long breaks put Daria off, and it's the main reason why the handshake between the two towards the end of the game seems so cold. Well, here's how people are reacting to Bianca's win again. Against Daria Kasatkina. Twitter is filled with people sharing their two cents about this match. Everyone seems to have an opinion about what transpired on the court. And well, tennis has always been a game of intense tension. Those of you who watched the match already know how palpable the tension was between the two players. In a tennis match, everybody's got their eyes on the players. So you best believe nothing goes unnoticed. Bianca took an awfully long break in the first set's tie break. And then she went on asking for a medical timeout between sets. Tennis commentators and reporter Nick McCarville tweeted how salty the handshake at the end of the game looked. He went as far as to claim that Daria didn't look too happy about Bianca's long breaks. A lot of tennis fans are calling out Bianca right now. Most are of the opinion that her use of a medical timeout was a pretty obnoxious thing to resort to and demonstrated anything but true sportsmanship. Some even went as far as to say that gamesmanship's a pretty common occurrence in women's tennis. It's something that shouldn't be such a rampant problem anymore. But this is what Andrea Andrescu herself had to say about what went down in the court. Toward the end of the game, we had to witness that extremely cold handshake the two players exchanged. And of course, it's tennis. You can't expect fans and critics to stay silent about whatever happens on the court. But the interesting thing is what Bianca herself had to say about the match in an on-court interview that took place immediately after the match. Well, the Canadian player apologized for her behavior on court. Was the apology sincere? Who's to say? Bianca claimed she really wasn't feeling all too well and required immediate medical attention. The 22-year-old had her blood pressure checked and during the tiebreaker, there were trainers and medical staff surrounding her. For what it's worth, she honestly did seem like a mess there. Still, we wonder if there's a way of finding out if all that was for show or if she truly was under serious distress. Interviewers asked Bianca if the reason behind her timeout was an injury she sustained previously and it turns out it wasn't. She took the timeout because she'd been feeling dizzy on court. At one point, during the game, she was having double vision and that concerned her. That's why they checked her blood pressure. Next up, she took to social media to hit back at the critics. Like we said before, it's tennis and it can get horribly intense. It's no surprise that the internet's still abuzz with backlash directed towards Bianca for winning that match. There's so much one person can take, of course. The Canadian player didn't choose silence in this incredibly drawn out discussion about her actions on the court. With all the shots that were being fired against her, it's no surprise she finally took to social media and hit back at the critics so vocally speaking up against her attitude in her match against Daria. The 22-year-old wrote how she genuinely didn't feel good, and that's why she required all the medical attention. She didn't take the medical time out as a ploy to deliberately put off her opponent. She insisted that there were no ulterior motives behind her actions, and she most definitely didn't want to distract Daria or throw her off from her game. The Canadian player exclaimed how disappointing it is to see people accusing her of something she she didn't do. And that's not all. Bianca also wrote about how it's hard enough being an athlete already. There's absolutely no logic in trying to fake feeling unwell, according to the young player. In the end, she added how she's only human. She can't always be expected to be at her best during a game. And then there's how Angelique Kerber called Bianca a drama queen back in 2019. Surprisingly, this isn't the first time that Bianca's been accused of gamesmanship. Back in 2019, she called for a similar medical timeout in a match against Angelique 
Ashley Kerber. Back then, it looked like the Canadian player wanted medical staff to tend to her nagging injury on her right arm. The timeout put a pause to the game for several minutes, and Kerber seemed visibly upset about that. Of course, Bianca won the game, and when both athletes approached each other at the net for the traditional after-game handshake, the microphones picked up Kerber calling the 22-year-old a big drama queen. Yeah, these medical timeouts seem to be forming a pattern in this Canadian player's games. While it's hard to ignore how this is something that's occurred in the past, it's also kind of worth mentioning how Bianca's never really done it all that frequently. Perhaps we should give her the benefit of the doubt for now. Now, in other tennis news. First up, Caroline Garcia's pure joy on winning the WTA 1000 final. It's one big cause for celebration for French qualifier Caroline Garcia because she's just won the WTA 1000 final. What's more, she's rewriting tennis history with her glorious victory, seeing how she's the first ever qualifier to have won the title ever since it was created back in 2009. She seemed pretty speechless and couldn't contain her happiness at having won the title. She's one tough player who's always focused on improving her game, so we're really happy she's got this going for her. And she's played an incredibly impressive season this year. With this new win, the French qualifiers earned three titles to her name this season already. We can't wait to see her return to the top 20. Next, will Novak Djokovic participate in the U.S. Open this year? Every single tennis fan's been wondering the same thing this week. With the U.S. Open less than a week away, will we see tennis legend Novak Djokovic return to the U.S. Open? The Serbian tennis player has been under a lot of scrutiny lately because of his refusal to vaccinate against COVID. The 35-year-old stirred a lot of controversy over his decision to remain unvaccinated. It's been more than two years since the pandemic began, and we've still got to deal with stuff like this. The U.S. Open starts from 29th of August, and seeing how the U.S. has a very strict policy about not allowing unvaccinated foreigners into the country, we have a feeling Djokovic won't be joining the U.S. Open this year, just like how he was barred from playing at the Australian Open earlier this year. And finally, Barbara Shett thinks Emma Raducanu could up her game with a signature shot. Tennis expert Barbara Shett seems to have some critical advice for Emma Raducanu's playing style. Shett believes Emma's got a lot of untapped potential, and the best way to access all of that said potential is to develop a signature move, a move that would intimidate her opponents, and they'd have to be pretty vigilant when playing against the 19-year-old. According to Shett, Emma's just started out, and she still has time to work on developing this signature move. Emma managed to snatch two very incredible wins at Cincinnati this year. While she couldn't win the final in Cincinnati, it's been a surprisingly promising season for her this year because the 19-year-old seems to be in excellent form. The young player still got plenty of opportunities to avail, and we believe she'll come up with a terrific signature move that'd give her opponents a pretty tough time. Right now, we've got our eyes on her performance in the upcoming final Grand Slam of the season. That's a wrap for this video. Interested in more tennis-related updates? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.